Today, I'm going to show you how to make this super fun tumbler that was inspired by one of my favorite movies of all time. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Also check the description box below for all of the products that I used. I also have a free Facebook group where I give away more tips and tricks about crafting and tumbler making. That link will be in the description as well. Let's get started on the tutorial. Today we will be working on a 24 ounce plump from the Tipsy Magnolia. Make sure you check the description for a discount code. I am taking my 80 grit sanding block and giving it a good sand and just concentrating on those top and bottom rims is super helpful for adhesion. Now I am going to take my Cami Page Boutique Ultimate Tumbler Tool and I'm going to be using the Vertical Line Maker. I have a dry erase marker here and I am just going to make a line going down my tumbler, creating a straight line to set my template on. I cut some vinyl out on a color that I just don't use very often. This is permanent vinyl, which it doesn't really matter if it's permanent or temporary. The only problem with permanent is if you leave your tumbler for a long time, it can be really hard to remove. But if you're all doing this in the same day, it doesn't make a big difference. I have placed my transfer tape on the top and then I am just cutting the excess backing away from the template. I'm going to flip my template over and remove the backing about an inch. I just prefer to fold it back, but if you would like to cut off that inch, that's totally fine. Then we are going to take our template and line it up with that straight line we created with the Cami Page Boutique Ultimate Tumbler Tool. And before I apply this template completely, I like to just tack down that one inch, leaving the backing on the rest and folding it around my tumbler, making sure that the line I created is straight and the edges line up. Now you are just going to remove about an inch of the backing on the template at a time and you can just push firmly in the crease where the vinyl meets the tumbler. Sometimes I just use the palm of my hand and the backing rolls off, but today it didn't want to. So I am just removing about an inch at a time and then today I decided to use my vinyl squeegee and just push firmly. If your template is not matching up, that usually means you have a wrinkle or bubbles. So make sure that you get those out the best that you can. Once you have almost reached the beginning of your template, go ahead and remove a couple inches of that transfer tape. And since I used a dry erase marker, I am just gonna use my finger and rub that dry erase marker off and then we can continue to apply our template. At this point, I just kind of like to push and pull at the same time, making sure the template design matches up and the vinyl is laying flush. Now you can remove the rest of your transfer tape and then we are going to start pulling up the sections of our template that we want to glitter first. And I am starting on the bottom and there is a stripe pattern on this template and I am removing every other stripe. Now take the glitter of your choice. We are going to be using DOA, which is a super cool black mix. It has a little bit of like a blue black in it and it just puts off an intense sparkle. And we are going to take some glitter glue and paint and mix those about equal parts. 
paint each section of the template and while that glitter glue and paint mixture is still wet you are going to sprinkle on that doa glitter Now we are going to remove the next sections of our template that we are going to glitter, which are the stripes in between the black stripes. Once you have all of those removed, I am going to be using Abominable, which is a pretty opaque white glitter. If you are not using an opaque white glitter, you will want to base coat these stripes first with just plain white paint and then go back over with your glitter glue and paint mixture. Since mine is pretty opaque, I am just gonna go in and start with the paint and glue mixture and then sprinkle on Abominable while, thou, while those sections are still wet. I am also going to glitter my booty with the abominable glitter as well. So I just went ahead and used that same paint and glue mixture. Now we are going to remove the angled section of this template and I really want a really bright green here and I'm using a semi-transparent glitter so I am going to take some bright green paint and apply it to that section first let that comply dry completely and then you're going to go back in with that same paint by adding a little bit of glue to that paint apply it and then apply your glitter on top which will give you a really bright beautiful green Now you're going to remove the final piece of this template, which is like that deep V. I have already base coated mine purple and let it dry. Now I am going in with some glue and paint mixture, and then I'm going to take this really pretty deep purple called Bogus. Nope. I lied. It's called Bodacious. The green is called Bogus. <laughs> and we are going to take and sprinkle that on our paint and glue mixture. Now you are going to spray seal this tumbler really well so none of these glitters shift or very little shift. You will always get a few that want to be stragglers. But I usually use Krylon or Rust-Oleum's Triple Thick and I do two pretty heavy coats. You can also do two pretty heavy coats, let it dry, and then sometimes I use a dry brush and just brush, brush off any loose glitter. Once that is done, you can add a layer of epoxy. Now that your epoxy is all cured, take some vinyl colors of your choice and cut out some thin striping. 
I did a bright green for the V section on my tumbler, and we are just going to line that up evenly in between each color that has butt together, making a nice clean and crisp line. And then for the black and white stripes, I cut out some metallic purple and applied that in between the black and white. Now find the decal of your choice. I found this one that looked like it would be a label on a potion jar that said Beetlejuice and I thought it was absolutely perfect for this tumbler. I cut it out in a green backing and layered it with black. Once that is applied to your tumbler, you are ready for your final coats of epoxy until your tumbler is smooth. Here is our tumbler all finished. I think it turned out so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and thanks so much for watching.